Welcome to Bandit SMG, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, I'm standing outside here rather than down there because I wanted to start shooting the Tatler and didn't want to run back and forth. Uh, Bandit SMGs, I think, are the best of SM or of the Bandit arsenal. Uh, I don't love a lot of Bandit guns, but I do quite like Bandit SMGs. Um, they have just decent stats all around, and their fire rate combined with their really big magazine size as well as the SMG deep ammo pool is quite quite a good deal. Um, that reload with some skills to it, 3.6, is easily knocked down to something pretty solid. So, yeah, that compared... Basically, just all that together makes some good guns. Um, if I'm playing a character leveling up, and if I find a blue or a purple bandit SMG, I'm quite excited, because they can do a lot of work with a lot of characters. Did I respec? No. Oh, that's the case. I'm just gonna shoot this. See, with Foresight, that's not a bad reload. It's not the fastest in the world, but uh, on kill it, have Foresight and be even faster. And Krieg and Axton and Zero all have more reload buffs than Maya, so you can make these things reload quite well. So I'm going to start with this here. The Tatler, which is one of the top five SMGs in the game. Um, probably... Yeah, top... You can always make an argument for any of the top five to be up there. The Sandhawk, the Tatler, Bitch, and Plasma Casters I think are pretty much the top four and you can pretty much make almost case for any of them. Um, with this one I might as well just start it here. I'll compare it to its mate here. You can see it has slightly reduced damage per pellet but it has three pellets which lead to the bad accuracy. Um, it keeps a fire rate, but it does have a slower reload, which is a little bad, and a uh, reduced magazine size. But you're shooting three pellets for the price of one. Now they are slow, and it does have bad accuracy. So this is more like a shotgun. It does not have the range of a lot of SMGs. A little better ADSing, of course. Now the bandit stock on all these, just to kind of have pure parts for the aesthetics of these videos, but uh... That does absolutely nothing, so you could uh, reduce that recoil with the doll stock. Now this gun does put out insane damage. As you can see, you can just land so many pellets close range on crit there and absolutely demolish enemies. It has some of the highest DPS of it, any SMG. But it's limited by its range, accuracy, and slow bullet speed. Now if you're close, it's also a really good fight for your life gun because you are just putting out a ridiculous amount of damage. The fact that you have 82 in the mag means you can just keep firing this thing and not get caught in a reload, hopefully, during fight for your life. So just overall a damn good SMG. It got a couple of buffs. Uh, at first there was a Seraph buff that applied to it, and then uh, it got a buff during the loot hunt. Not just to it, but there's a band of SMG buffs in general. So this this gun has been improved a couple of times, that's why it was kind of a sleeper for a bit. But uh, yeah, a damn good SMG. And a solid improvement. I wish they left that reload speed and mega size alone, but it's a damn good gun, it doesn't really need them. But just so you can see... I think my bar is on. Let me turn that off. Alright. Yeah, it's slower. That's a pretty slow naked reload speed. And that's a little slow too, but uh, like I said, with uh, character skills you can over compensate for that quite a bit. Next you have the Slaga. Slaga obviously always comes with Slag. It has an increased Slag chance. 24 doesn't sound great, but 24 with 3 pellets is damn good. Uh, you have highly reduced damage, but you have three pellets, so it's a little bit more. The accuracy is actually pretty solid. That's better than the Tatler's accuracy. 
You actually have an increased fire rate, which goes great for slagging. A stupidly big magazine size. So this, you know, with Maya's foresight or other character mag size increases, you can make that mag size absolutely insane. In fact, you know, I'll just do that here. And I do have that com on. Wow. 179. That is ridiculous. But, I mean, all bandit guns kind of get that. I mean, 114 and 138. So, yeah. Those big mags get really big with uh, skills that boost that. And I'll just leave that alone. I'm not going to run back up. I'm not really doing damage comparisons here so much. So, yeah, you can see stat-wise, it's great. I mean, it's an awesome slagging tool. Probably second only to the Pimpernel although some people prefer it. And as you can see there, one shot, slagged. Come on, unslag. Slag lasts so long in UVHM. Oh, there it wasn't one shot. I probably reapplied it, so it's going to take a while to unslag. Well, yeah, and then you increase that with, like, Flicker, or your bar, or gauges, whatever her skill is called, I forget. Um, yeah, it's definitely one of the best slagging tools in the game. Not always on one shot. It's not quite as good as the Pimp. But, uh, incredibly good. Doesn't do the greatest for damage, but, actually, that times three isn't bad damage either, especially compared with the fire rate. So yeah, so far two for two with banded SMGs. Now we're going to have the Orc. And the Bone Shredder. And something I kind of didn't realize is there are no blue banded SMGs. They're all purple. And these ones, by doing a little research, are, as you can see, based off of purple SMGs. Which is very cool. Um... Which, you know, it helps the stats. Purple guns have better stats than uh, blue guns. So the orc, stat-wise, looks like there is nothing to it. But, let's see if I can get it to proc here. As I'm just going to shoot, shoot, shoot. Come on. This is what I don't like about the Orc. Its special ability is based on RMG. So there you see. Now you get increased fire rate and ricocheting bullets. So in that prox, the Orc is ridiculously deadly. Outside of that, it's just a regular SMG. And now, yeah, there you can see that difference. Fire rate is crazy good, and then the ricocheting pellets. And then it goes back. I don't like this gun. Um, you can't rely on it. It's completely random when the ability kicks in. Now, if it kicks in, you can swap to another gun. You can kind of transfer those effects. But it's too glitchy, too unreliable to rely on. Now, they at least did it right by not lowering any of the base stats. That was a good step. But it's not good enough. Um... Yeah, you have to beat the uh, Merlin's Temple, which is a pain in the butt, as uh, some people witnessed me doing in Katie's stream the other night. I hate that place. I just fall in holes like fucking crazy. And it's always my fault. It's just me not paying attention. It's not like I'm blaming it on the game. It is definitely me that sucks at that place. But uh, yeah, I don't like the traps. So the Orc, if they would have balanced the stats and just had it permanently have that ability, it could have been awesome. But as it stands, it's just kind of some weird, stupid, glitchy gun. So I think that's a fail. Last, we have the Bone Shredder, which is the poor man's Tattler. Um, you got reduced damage, not terribly, but enough where it's annoying, but three pellets. But it's that 30% accuracy. Uh, the rest of the stuff stays the same. You don't have the magazine or fire rate penalty. But just look how wide these pellets are shooting. It's it's really bad. You know, even keeping it right on target there. 
this guy's not far away and I'm missing shots at this range. You know, at standing here I'm hitting them better, but this thing is a shotgun. It's a shotgun with a big magazine. But it's just not very good because the range is too limiting. Uh, the Tatler's range isn't nearly this bad with a, a 56 accuracy. Ah, I got a sneeze coming on. I'm going to try to hold it off because I'm almost done here. Let's see if I can do that. So when I sneeze, I sneeze twice and I sneeze loud and I might not be able to catch my mute in time. Which means I should stop talking and just finish. Well, finish by talking. Yeah. So anyways, Bone Shredder, it's powerful. It can shred enemies, no pun intended there, at close range. But you have to be right up in their grill to make it work. And for a lot of people, a lot of playstyles, that doesn't work so well. Maya can get close enough to make that happen. You know, Zero can with Deception, but... Um, I mean, it is easy to farm. Bone Shredder drops it, it seems like, almost every time. So it's an easy gun to acquire. So if you're leveling up in UVHM, not a bad gun to get. But honestly, you're probably just better off running into Frostburn and getting a little scale. There's a little scale similar to this, but I feel it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, so that's the Bone Shredder. It's not bad, um, but it's just it's too inaccurate, I think. And that is Bandit SMGs. Uh, all in all, kind of two and two, but their bad ones aren't bad. They're just not great. Um, but they're close. They're oh so close to being four for four awesome guns. Because the Slega and the Tatler are, without a doubt, awesome guns. Even if this is just a utility, which makes it somewhat pointless on Maya. Uh, these are... Yeah, they're all really sweet, amazing guns. So I uh, I kind of recommend all of them, at least playing with. I mean, the the orc is frustrating as it can be. It's fun as hell to play with because when that effect goes off, it is crazy, awesome fun. Um, yeah. So that are those are that are those are Bandit SMGs. Uh, overall, a really solid job by Gearbox on them. Four good guns. So. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Um, also, if you guys have not came, come to the forum, I'm actually getting off my ass and updating the master thread. The link is in the description. So come contribute there, leave comments in the comments below, and please subscribe if you have not done so. I also appreciate it when you guys uh, share these videos. So thank you for watching one more time, and I will see you later. Bye.